Hey guys, Mary Meet, and welcome to another reading. Um, let me move this just real quick. And today we're doing a reading for Citrin, and I've done a lot of readings for Citrin before. Um, she's really fun <laughs> because she is in a transition right now. She's doing some new things. It's very exciting. I love what she's working on. Um, but yeah, she's kind of like breaking open all these doors and, and starting something really new. Uh, she has completely started on a separate path. And because of that, I, I tend to use these stones for citron a lot. Um, I use peridot and astrophyllite. And these are both very good for life path work, which is exactly what she's doing. Why is this not focusing? There we go. Um, which is exactly what she's doing. It's exactly what she's focusing on. Um, she is in this brand new phase of her life doing all these great new things. There you go. Now you can see some of the fire. Um, but yeah, so these are really good stones for her. I've used them before. <laughs> I know that uh, you have seen these, Citrin. Um, but yeah, so I, I thought these were, again, just very appropriate for what you're going through. And I also used quartz because quartz is great for vision. It's great for clarity. It's great for just showing us what it is that we need to know. And it's also really good for just energy. And with everything that you're going through lately, you need to keep your energy up, right? You need to find sources of energy and, and use them as you can. So I thought that would be a really good um, use of quartz for you. And also I opened up an old uh, trunk of mine a few months ago and found these new pieces of quartz and I hadn't had a chance to use them yet. So <laughs> let's just take a second and look at how pretty these are. I had bought these a long time ago and then locked them up when I moved and never opened it again. So, um, <clears throat> okay. So <laughs> here we go. That's enough about that. You know, I have a, like a love affair with rocks, but so what we're looking at, um, you have ordered the, uh, three month subscription for the nine cards and the oracles and for the oracles we're using runes. And so this is my December deck, which is the uh, tarot Illuminati. And I love it because I just wanted something that was kind of celebratory, but not necessarily Christmassy, but still kind of fancy, I guess. And so it really works for that. The images are really colorful and very vivid. And so I'm going to be holding them up because, you know, I have to kind of do this far enough away that you don't really get a good, uh, good uh, vision of them. So, um, so here we go. We're going to start. So basically what this is, is these are three things that you're going to be kind of dealing with this month. Three themes, if you will. And for our first card, we have the Emperor Reversed. So the Emperor Reversed, usually when I see that card, I think of somebody who's not willing to do what it takes to get things done, if you will. It can be one of two ways. It can mean that you're kind of like taking a break. You're not really, not really in the active phase of doing things, which is kind of okay for this time of year because we have a lot of other stuff going along or going on with uh, the holidays, with, you know, family stuff. Personally, I'm taking a little bit of a break from everything, but just trying to get through the holidays. And yeah, so that's kind of okay for this time of year. Um, sometimes you need to just chill, stop trying to be on top of everything and just take a break. Okay. Now, our next card is, ooh, the Princess of Swords. Now, usually the Princess of Swords, that means some sort of a message is coming, okay? So, you know, while you're taking this break, you can look for that, okay? Just look for signs. Look for, you know, it can be actually communications. It can be emails. It can be that sort of thing. Look for something to come through to kind of help you find your direction or to help you find your direction in January when you're, you know, kind of getting back to things, when you're kind of coming back to life. Um, yeah, this is kind of a tricky time of year for that. You know, it's just, you get so mired in family stuff and obligations and, you know, not bad obligations. The, you know, the holidays are kind of, you take out of it what you put into it, where you, it can either be really fun and exciting or it can just be a complete drag. So it, it kind of it can go both ways. But, you know, take your time to do what you need to do for the holidays in December, but keep an eye out for that message, okay? Keep an eye out for that communication. 
And, you know, also with the Princess of Swords, that can be the start of a communication, okay? That can be the beginning of something. Um, she is usually at the beginning of, you know, something happening. So, yeah, keep an eye out for that. Keep an eye out for new um, opportunities that show up. Um, that sort of thing. So, now, this card... We have uh, the Ten of Pentacles reversed. So it kind of seems like with this, this is the Ten of Pentacles is usually about like inheritance or family wealth or family security, that sort of thing. And with it reversed, it feels like that's being taken away. Okay, so maybe there was an inheritance that you're waiting for that didn't come through. Um, there was a promise that somebody would help you with something in your family that didn't come through. Um, you know, maybe you got used to being kind of secure financially and, and you're finding out that's not really happening. Okay. It could be that you relied on something that you thought was going to come through that isn't going to come through or that you thought some, there was, you know, some money there that has been spent or taken away somehow. So now's a really good time to really, again, take a break, but look for messages and those messages may have to do with a way that you thought that you could rely on your family that you can't, okay? The stability is not there. Security is not there. Usually that has to do with finances. Sometimes it can just be, you know, uh, your, your family just, there's no groundedness there. There's no stability and it makes you crazy being around them or that sort of thing. Um, so yeah, so keep an eye on that. But, but the Princess of Swords here... She's pretty good. She's uh, something we want to look for uh, because she's going to bring us like an idea of a better future. All right. So keep an eye out for her. And for the rune, we have, I don't know how well you can see it. It's Degas. And Degas is all about, it's, it's about breaking through. It's about Usually it's like a day, all right? This is a full day. And the idea is that tomorrow is a new day, okay? So give it a day and things will change. There will be like a 180 degree change. And yeah, so a lot of times it's about death of the old and birth of the new, but give it a day, okay? So that it, it's definitely a 24 hour period. So kind of keep an eye out for that. When you get that message, I feel like there's gonna be a 24 hour period where you need to make a decision, okay? And, you know, honestly, with the Ten of Pentacles, that could be leaving behind security, leaving behind family security. Um, kind of letting go of something that, you know, sometimes when you have security that comes from your family or that comes from like an inheritance or something like that, there can be a lot of strings or a lot of attachments that go with that that hold you down. So it could be that you're going to get a message that you have an opportunity to leave that behind and that's not necessarily a bad thing. Uh, give it a day, make your decision, and, you know, maybe make a change. So something to look out for. So for our second issue, or I'm sorry, I say issue, but for our second theme, um, we have the Six of Swords reversed. Now the Six of Swords is usually about sailing away from troubled waters. And if you see, she's kind of like, Moving along from, from troubled waters that are really turbulent here onto smoother waters over here. Um, and that's usually meaning that you're leaving something behind that was not good for you. But you're not doing that here because it's reversed. So you are kind of staying in a situation that you should probably make a decision and, and think about ways to get out of it. Um, it... Yeah, I mean, you can see that there are the smooth waters. You can see that there's a better life elsewhere. But for whatever reason, you're staying stuck in the same position. And that's usually not a good thing. If tarot teaches us anything, it's that stagnation and choosing to stay in a situation are terrible. Like, that's a recurring theme in tarot. Tarot doesn't like that. Tarot likes movement, okay? Tarot likes it when you do something, when you take action, okay? So... Oh, wow. Okay, so this couldn't be any more clear. Um, here we've got the Three of Swords. You're still in those turbulent waters. You're staying stuck in those turbulent waters. And the Three of Swords is all about suffering. Okay, it's about despair. 
So it's causing you a lot of pain to stay stuck in these turbulent waters. I mean, look at how crazy that is. I mean, they're just like a little bit turbulent here, but here it's a full on storm. Okay. And so if you stay in this situation, you're just gonna, there's gonna be a lot of pain that comes along with that. Okay. And three of swords is always, it's kind of a difficult one to come up to, to show, but you know, it kind of gives you a warning it, it forewarned is forearmed and it gives you a chance to really make the changes that you need to make in order to, um, let me see if I can get this to focus in order to get out of that situation. So the result of that, now here we've got the King of Wands and the King of Wands is all about motivation. He is all about passion. He is the guy who goes and gets things done. He is the one who starts quests and, you know, and he's really, he's kind of done all that. He started all that and he's been successful because of it. All right. Now with the King of Wands, the wands are very fiery and that in conjunction with these two very watery cards here, I'm kind of getting the message that you need to burn all that away. Okay. This is an emotional situation here. This is a situation that you have a lot invested in that you know, the idea of moving on is, is very emotional for you. He's saying, burn it away. Okay. Get rid of it. And he, you know, with him, it's kind of a message to start something new, go do something new, burn away the old emotional stuff, start something new, make it your own and succeed. So it's kind of, and we've actually talked about this. We're, we're both kind of in a position where we're learning some karmic lessons lately. So I feel like He's saying it's okay to let everything go, okay? Just be done, right? Go do things for yourself, okay? The wands are not very touchy-feely and loving and gentle. They're, they're very much go forward, do what you got to do, right? And so the message here, it seems really loud and clear. is just burn all the emotional stuff away. Go do what you need to do for you, all right? And the rune that we've got for that is Pertho. And Pertho, Pertho is usually about gambling. It's about taking a risk. It's about gambling that pays off. Um, it's usually a good, a good luck symbol. Um, but it's also about finding something that you thought was lost. And I feel like having been so mired in these two, cards and dealing with the turbulence of that, maybe you've lost yourself. Okay. Maybe what you are, are looking for that you've lost is yourself. And the King of Wands is going to help you find that, right? He's going to help you come back to yourself, you know, go forth and do things that you want to do in a very passionate, fiery way. And you're going to take that risk and you're going to find yourself again. Okay. Or, you know, it could be something external. It could be that you find a friendship that you thought it was lost or you find an item. I mean, I, I don't get that it's an item. I feel like this is a very kind of like emotional type thing. But um, so, yeah. So, yeah, if you can leave all this behind, there's something that you're going to find. It's something that's going to serve you well. So for our third theme, oh, we have the Hierophant rever reversed. And I love this card for you. Because when this comes up reversed, it's all about forgetting about the rules. Screw the rules. The rules are not doing anything for us. We need to take our own path. We need to go off on our own. We need to kind of like find our own way. And very often, this can be about uh, things that are metaphysical, things that are new age, things that are, you know, other people consider kooky. But that's kind of where you and I live, <laughs> right? So I feel like we've kind of bonded on the Hierophant Reverse because we make our own paths, okay? We don't care whether what we're doing is traditional or, you know, widely accepted or that sort of thing. We're making our own path. And that's a brilliant thing. And I know this ties in so much with what you're doing now that it's just not even real. Anyways, yeah, this is very much a U card. So that's a good thing. So amidst all this other stuff, you still have this project that you're working on that's going to be great. And, okay, this is interesting. So we've got the Seven of Swords reversed. 
And the Seven of Swords is usually about someone kind of taking something from you. That can be, you know, taking something physical. That can be something, someone taking your reputation by talking shit about you, basically. Um, that can be someone who is damaging your reputation, you know, uh, going behind your back, deceiving you, lying about you, that sort of thing. But with it reversed like this, this is a good thing because it, that deception is going to come to light, okay? That whatever they're taking, whatever they're stealing, whatever they are doing that is taking away from you, it's going to come to light. And it could come to light from them. They may apologize to you. They may say, hey, listen, I've been doing this thing. I feel really bad, you know, and it's kind of a reconciliation. Or you can find out from someone else and start the process of getting justice on that. Okay, so that's a good thing. And then lastly, we have, oh, interesting, the full reversed. So, so I see that you're doing this thing that is not traditional. And there's going to be things that come to light um, about that, where somebody has been taking, you know, stealing your thunder even. But the full reversed is telling us to, that's cool, but get serious about it, okay? Understand that this is like, this is, a, this is important what you're doing. And you can't just be kind of like fly by the seat of your pants about it. You need to have a plan. You need to look at your steps carefully. You need to really put the work in and put the research in. Don't just expect the universe to take care of everything. Okay, so actually in December, this is kind of a good card because for me, I take the last week or two of December, if I've got my holiday shopping and everything done and can relax, I take that time to plan for the next year. And what I do, just on a very basic level, is I will come up with a word or a phrase that represents my next year. I haven't figured out what 2018 is yet. Um, but I use planners. I have used, like, Leonie Dawson's planner. This year I'm going to use the Rituals for, Rituals for Living Dream Book. Um, I'll send you the link to that. But... I think this is telling you, you really need to plan your, your next steps out. Okay. Really think hard about what's going to get you where you need to go. And that might be a good thing for you. Um, it's kind of a good theme for December to wrap up the year, the previous year and think about your next year. So I feel like that's really telling us that that would be helpful for you. So for the rune, we have and Sue's, and this is about communication. Um, it's about creativity. It's about word of mouth. It's about teaching or learning. And to me, do you remember in a reading previous, previously we were talking about you doing a blog? You're kind of in this position where you have this specialty where you could really teach people, okay? You can, you can share your experiences and really show people what you're about. And I feel like this ties into that. So, the communication has come up for you before, uh, finding new ways to communicate and finding new ways to get your message out there and to get your kind of, you know, we all have kind of like a, a mission statement or, or we should, you know, what we want to do in the world and what our life path is. So this is kind of saying you have this opportunity to put forward your mission statement, okay, to decide what your life path is and to send that out into the universe so that other people can respond to it, okay? So, yeah, so I find <laughs> this reading is kind of interesting um, because you are just on the cusp of so many things. I think that this is something that's deeply personal. This is something that we haven't talked about, and I think that you probably know exactly what it is. Um, I think that it probably, you're hearing it and you know what it's about. Um, up here, let's see, we've got, yeah, I feel like, but you are, you are kind of needing a break too. You're needing to kind of just take a step back and kind of reflect on everything, um, and decide whether you want to use the path of security or, you know, even the path of going your own way. The Hierophant is about going your own way. So it's a decision you need to make and there's going to be a message about that. And you need to do some planning. You need to look at your next steps, what, you know, what are you trying to achieve and how do you get there? 
Now, as far as the major iconic cards, we have um, the Empress Reversed, the Hierophant, and the Fool. So these are the really important cards, okay? So the really important cards are the Emperor Reversed. Um, are taking a break, you know, just, just relax, just, you know, it's okay to take a little bit of time for yourself. Um, you don't have to be on top of everything all the time. But you do still really want to go your own way. I'm seeing that this is so important for you. Um, and then also, you know, the planning. So, well, in December you need to take your own time. This is kind of the beginning of the month. I'm seeing at the end of the month, okay, now you've taken your time. Now it's time to, like, start really thinking about what direction you're moving in. Um, you also have, let's see, two... Yeah, two court cards, and that's the Princess of Swords and the... No, yeah, two. Uh, Princes of Swords and King of Wands. I usually see those as things that you need to embody. Um, but the Princess of Swords is usually a very external card. That's usually, you know, just very, very simply a message that's coming through. Um, but it could also mean that you are the messenger. That you are meant to bring a message to other people. Okay? The King of Wands, I see that very clearly being about burning this away. I mean, it's... Sometimes it can, can be other people. I don't, I don't necessarily see that. I see these as being, um, she's something that you need to look for. He's something that you need to embody, okay? You need to kind of take control, uh, start something new, get rid of that. And now, as far as the suits, we've got swords. Okay, you have four swords cards. Um, here, here, and here. So that's usually about communication. That's usually about intellect, about logic. Um, so these are, yeah, everything that you're going through is very mental. It's very cerebral. It's very intellectual. Um, it's not, you know, these two, two do have kind of an emotional connotation, but mostly you just have a lot of thinking. You're kind of stuck in your head right now, and that's cool. Um, you know, again, it's kind of an internal time of year. I get really introverted around this time of year and try to sort my stuff out, and that's fine. Uh, it's a good time of year for it. You also have one pentacle and one wand. So those aren't huge, huge influences, but yeah, those swords, you know, the swords very often are about just cutting through bullshit, cutting through the things in your life that aren't helping you, and deciding what you need to move on from. Um, and I see, I see a lot of that. I see that you're in this big turning point, honestly. And yeah, the best things that you can do are decide whether security is really that important to you. Decide whether that's really what you want out of life is just to have that security, you know, that, that firm ground, or if you just kind of want to be free of that for a while. Okay. Also spend some time thinking about what you can burn away thinking about what new projects you can start that kind of set you on fire, okay? That kind of just really get you excited, all right? And then and then do some planning. So, yeah, those are the main influence I'm seeing. So, yeah, so let me know if this uh, reading resonates for you. Um, I'm so excited about everything that you're doing. I want so badly for you to, you know, launch a page or something like that so I can share it and promote you because... I think that it's really cool what you're doing. So um, that's it. If I don't talk to you, I'm sure I will. But if I don't talk to you, then I hope your holidays are amazing. Um, and at the very least, I will talk to you in January and we will set up your reading for then. So that's it. Hope you're having a great weekend and blessed be. Bye-bye.